Reality is not what it seems. The world you perceive, the solid ground beneath your feet, the unyielding walls around you, the immutable laws of nature you accept without question, is but a thin veneer over something far more profound and malleable. For centuries, mystics, philosophers, and sages have whispered that reality is an illusion, a construct shaped not by matter alone, but by consciousness itself. Among these voices, one stands out for his audacity and depth, Aleister Crowley, the enigmatic figure often dubbed the Great Beast. But beyond the sensationalism lies a man who dedicated his life to exploring the unseen dimensions of existence. Crowley believed that reality could be bent, even reshaped entirely, through the focused application of true will and esoteric practices. He wasn't merely a theorist, but a practitioner who left behind a roadmap for those daring enough to follow. You can tap into this hidden framework of reality, a place where your thoughts, intentions, and actions converge to manifest wealth, success, and fulfillment. This isn't the stuff of fantasy or mere positive thinking. It's a disciplined approach that blends ancient wisdom with practical techniques, bridging the gap between the seen and the unseen. At the core of Crowley's philosophy lies a radical idea. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. This statement is often misunderstood as a license for selfishness or hedonism, but in Crowley's framework, it carries a far more profound meaning. The true will is not synonymous with fleeting desires or ego-driven ambitions. It represents your innermost purpose, the divine blueprint of your existence. It's the unique path that only you can walk, a path that, when discovered and followed, aligns you with the very forces that shape the universe. Consider the concept of Dharma in Hindu philosophy, the idea that every being has a specific duty or role in the cosmic order. Similarly, ancient Greek philosophers spoke of Logos, the rational principle that governs the cosmos. Crowley's true will echoes these concepts, but emphasizes personal discovery and alignment. He posited that when you act in accordance with your true will, you become a conduit for universal energy allowing you to manifest your desires effortlessly. But how does this relate to wealth? In Crowley's view, wealth is not merely material accumulation, but a natural byproduct of living in harmony with your true will. When you're aligned, opportunities for abundance present themselves as if by magic. Obstacles dissipate and actions flow seamlessly toward your goals. It's not about chasing money, but about becoming the kind of person to whom wealth naturally flows a person fully aligned with their divine purpose. To grasp Crowley's methods, we must first challenge our conventional understanding of reality. Modern science, particularly quantum physics, has begun to unveil a universe that is far less concrete than we once believed. Subatomic particles exist in states of probability, only settling into a defined state when observed. This phenomenon suggests that consciousness plays a role in shaping the physical world, a concept that Crowley intuitively understood. He taught that reality is a construct, a tapestry woven from the threads of thought, emotion, and intention. Your beliefs and perceptions act as lenses, filtering and shaping the raw energy of the universe into the experiences you call real. If you believe that wealth is scarce or that you're unworthy of abundance, these beliefs manifest as your reality. Conversely, by altering your inner landscape, you can transform your external circumstances. This idea aligns with the law of attraction, but goes deeper. Crowley emphasized that mere wishing is insufficient. Effective reality creation requires disciplined practice, symbolic actions, and alignment with universal principles. It's about becoming an active participant in the co-creation of your world, not a passive recipient of circumstances. Before you can begin manifesting wealth or any other desire, you must first clear the mental and spiritual clutter that obstructs your true will. Negative thoughts, limiting beliefs, and energetic blockages act like static interference, distorting the signals you send into the universe. Crowley advocated for the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram as a foundational practice to cleanse your inner and outer space. Find a quiet, dimly lit room where you won't be disturbed. Light a white candle to symbolize purity and clarity. If you have incense, lighting it can help create a sacred atmosphere. Stand in the center of the room, facing east the direction of the rising sun and new beginnings. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Imagine roots extending from your feet into the earth, anchoring you. 
Open your eyes and visualize a bright white light forming a pentagram in front of you. Extend your right hand, or use a dagger or wand if you have one, to trace the pentagram in the air. As you draw, vibrate the word yod He vav He, the Hebrew name for God, to charge the symbol with divine energy. After completing the pentagram, visualize it glowing and pulsing with energy. Turn to the south and repeat the process, tracing another pentagram and vibrating Adonai. Turn west, trace the pentagram, and vibrate Ehe Yesh. Turn north, trace the pentagram, and vibrate Agla. Return to facing east. Visualize a circle of white light connecting all four pentagrams around you, forming a protective barrier. Stand in the center of the circle, raise your arms and declare with conviction, I banish all negativity and align myself with my true will. Feel the energy of the space transform, lighter, clearer, and filled with possibility. Take a moment to meditate, absorbing the purified energy. When ready, extinguish the candle and conclude the ritual. This ritual serves multiple purposes. Psychologically, it centers your focus and intention. Energetically, it clears away negative influences that may hinder your manifestation efforts. Symbolically, it represents your authority over your own reality, reaffirming your commitment to aligning with your true will. With your space cleared, the next step is to attune yourself to the natural cycles of the universe. Crowley believed that aligning with cosmic rhythms amplifies your ability to manifest desires. The Liber Resh Velhelios is a ritual that involves saluting the sun at its four daily stations, sunrise, noon, sunset, and midnight. At dawn, face east as the sun begins to rise. Extend your arms in a welcoming gesture and say, Hail unto thee who art Ra in thy rising even unto thee who art Ra in thy strength. Visualize the sun's rays infusing you with vitality and illuminating your path. At midday, face south, the sun at its zenith. Declare, hail unto thee who art Ahathor in thy triumphing, even unto thee who art Ahathor in thy beauty. Feel the fullness of the sun's energy, symbolizing the peak of abundance and opportunity. As the sun sets, face west, say, Hail unto thee who art Tum in thy setting, even unto thee who art Tum in thy joy. Reflect on the day's events, releasing any negativity or obstacles encountered. At midnight, face north. State, Hail unto thee who art Kephra in thy hiding, even unto thee who art Kephra in thy silence. Embrace the stillness of the night, trusting that unseen forces are working in your favor. By performing this ritual, you synchronize your energy with the sun's cycle, symbolizing the continuous process of renewal and manifestation. It's a reminder that just as the sun rises and sets, so too do the energies of creation ebb and flow. Rituals are powerful, but without addressing your internal landscape, they are merely performances. Crowley emphasized the importance of introspection and mental discipline. Negative beliefs about wealth act as subconscious barriers to abundance. To dismantle these barriers, you must first become aware of them. Set aside uninterrupted time in your sacred space. Write down all your beliefs about money and wealth, both positive and negative. Be honest, no one else will read this. Review your list and highlight statements that reflect scarcity, unworthiness, or fear. Common examples might include, money is the root of all evil, rich people are corrupt, or I'm not smart enough to be wealthy. For each limiting belief, ask yourself, is this belief absolutely true? Where did this belief originate? How does this belief serve me? Replace each negative statement with a positive affirmation. For example, money is a tool that can be used for good. Wealth allows me to contribute more to the world. I have unique talents that can create abundance. Close your eyes and imagine living a life where these new beliefs are your reality. Feel the emotions associated with abundance, joy, freedom, gratitude. Stand before a mirror and read your new affirmations aloud daily. Speak with conviction, as if these truths are already embedded in your being. This exercise shifts your mindset from scarcity to abundance. By reprogramming your subconscious beliefs, you remove the internal barriers that repel wealth. Having cleared your space, aligned with cosmic rhythms, and transformed your beliefs, you're now ready to actively manifest wealth. Define what wealth means to you. Is it a specific financial goal, a lifestyle, freedom, or the ability to help others? 
write this intention down in precise terms. Crowley and other occultists used sigils, symbols representing desires, to focus intention. To create a sigil, write your intention in a simple sentence. I have financial abundance. Remove all vowels and repeating consonants. Rearrange the remaining letters into a unique symbol or abstract design. This symbol bypasses the conscious mind, embedding your intention into the subconscious. Enter a meditative state using deep breathing or soft music. Visualize your sigil, focusing on it intensely until it seems to take on a life of its own. Feel the emotions associated with achieving your intention. Charge the sigil with energy through emotional intensity. This can be achieved through methods like ecstatic dance, chanting, or other forms of physical movement that raise your energy levels. After charging, release your intention into the universe. Trust that the forces you've set in motion are working toward your desire. Avoid obsessing over the outcome. Doubt can counteract your efforts. Be alert to opportunities that arise. Take practical steps toward your goal, aligning your actions with your intention. Crowley stressed that magic requires both spiritual and physical effort. While Crowley's methods are rooted in the occult, they align remarkably well with modern psychological principles. Every step you take brings you closer to aligning with your true will. The path isn't always easy, and it isn't quick. But for those willing to delve deep, to question, to practice, and to believe, the rewards are limitless. The question remains, are you ready to step into your power and claim the wealth that is your birthright?